Hello and welcome to this video. Today I want to take a look at OEC Trader and its dome interface. To open up the dome interface within OEC Trader and set it up for your specific instrument of choice, go to the file menu, select new, and select dome. From here we can choose the account that we want to place trades to from this dome and we can also select the contract that we want to view. You can type in the symbol or alternately select the magnifying glass here. And here you can type in a symbol uh, if you want to. For example, the E-mini S&P 500 uh, futures contract here, as well as uh, several of its uh, different expiries. You also have the option to view all available instruments by selecting the search symbol, and those will populate in the menu below. I'm gonna use the E-mini S&P 500 as an example here, the June 2015 contract. And you can see that we also have some handy contract specifications here. You can see things like the maintenance margin that is required, uh, as well as uh, contract size, tick size, and so forth. Uh, you also have um, some other options here as far as the expiration date. So you can check those things within this lookup window as well. Uh, that can be uh, pretty handy for you. You can also set the default quantity for the dome. Uh, if you want to uh, trade one contract, for example, you could uh, set this uh, as a default. Uh, or another number as well. We have some other options here, but let's go ahead and, and uh, go ahead and enter the dome interface by selecting OK. Now, once we do that, we'll just uh, see that it automatically populated the contract symbol for us with the month and the year. That's uh, correct there for uh, the instrument that we wanted to view. I'm going to select OK from here, and our dome uh, has come up now. So if I were to go ahead and um, resize this, you actually see that this is uh, separate here uh, from our um, regular platform instance there. So we have uh, this as a free floating window that we can go ahead and uh, move around, uh, resize, uh, move to other monitors. If you have multiple monitors, for example, uh, that's completely possible here within the dome interface. It's also possible to dock it within the um, instance here within OEC Trader. And to do that, all we need to do is uh, select the OEC um, dome here, hold down uh, a left mouse click here on the title bar. You see we have some icons that uh, do appear. We can then uh, go ahead and dock those at one of those uh, places if we wanted to. So what I'll do is I'll go ahead and, and uh, do that again here. I'll left mouse click and hold down here on the um, uh, dome interface uh, so that we have that uh, docking option come up here. And then we go ahead and just select the uh, specific place that we want to place this in uh, or the section of our platform here. So if I were to choose this here or maybe a little bit larger of an option there, uh, you can see that that will automatically fit it here, uh, although we can still resize any of these windows. So that can be handy if you have multiple dome interfaces or looking at multiple domes um, to fit that in there with your specific workspace. To show you some features of the dome here, uh, we do have, uh, of course, the uh, inside market here with the uh, best bid and ask prices as well as the last traded price. You can also see that we can select uh, or place trades right from this uh, menu here. Uh, left mouse click for a limit order on the price level that you want to place that at. A right mouse click for a stop. You can also place alerts on each price level uh, or any price level that you wish to place those on. You can scroll up uh, by using your mouse wheel, for example, or also the arrows. And it's also possible to see uh, things such as the uh, position, so if you're short or long, and how many contracts, as well as your total P&L here. And uh, we also have the option to view different columns within the OEC Trader Dome. So you can see I have a volume column that's showing me the volume for the different price levels for the session. So this is just an overview uh, of the dome here. Uh, we'll go into more detail in some other videos, uh, but this will show you the uh, dome interface and help you get started with viewing uh, prices as well as uh, placing orders and also setting up your workspace there. If you have any questions, please feel free to let us know by giving us a call or shooting us an email.